some days. Some days. Some days. Some days I wake up and I just want to be the laziest bitch in the whorehouse. Legs spread wide, lucky strike dangling from my cock stained scarlet lips, eyes on the alarm clock, dreaming about my funeral procession, which will be a century long samba littered with hundreds of dead soldiers, all those who had come to soil my battlefield with their heavy artillery the way they would be bang into me like bullets fired at point blank range my mind swill drunk on the uncountable contaminants i have feasted on for years as some kind of twisted prophylactic against my own sickness my mind littered with mdma cocaine xanax cognac cannabis Some days, some days, some nights, some nights, some nights. I saw the best minds of my generation scoring dime bags of dope on Avenue D. Their sickness, insufferable from their disease. And they'd wake up, pass out, and puke and always say the same things. Some days, some nights, some decades are meant to be wasted. Well, I can assure you I have not wasted a second of my fucking life. murderous again. I'm feeling murderous again. I'm feeling murderous again. Now we can just consider it possible that it's part of my corrosive bloodline, that it's something that's bruising my bones from the inside out, that there is something seeking retribution against the host carrier that I am suffering from some kind of electro spasms of agitation, spitting shock waves that ripple under the skin, irritating from the outside in. This is the state I'm 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 in. Again, you know, there's a part of me that lives in this state perpetually, the blood letter, the psychotic, the neurotic, suffering from undefinable mood swings. I scream at myself to just fucking stop, to just stop, to just shut up, to just forget. I wish I could fucking forget, I can't forget. I try to find a way to forget each fucking day, though I wake up and again, I'm failing. Murderous hyperactive limbo can't stand the sensation. You know what I'm talking about. One foot in front of the other, another thousand Sisyphean feats.
again. Time. The scene of the crime could be somebody broke in, but all that was missing were the Polaroids. And I'm always salivating about the maniac responsible. I know that to attack is merely the desire to free oneself from infatuation, that a sharp stick in the eye kills the devil in the soul every time and night after night those demented visions of some woe-begotten messenger of the Lord is probably living down at the hangover hotel where everybody's just living hand to mouth trying to get ahead by shift a quick jog down to the corner store to pick up a bottle of Jack Daniels, a couple of dozen beers, let's see, a handful of condoms, and maybe some aspirins for the morning after. It's gonna bring you down real hard by about 200 euros, and then all you're gonna be left with is your dreams, and all you're gonna be dreaming about is the way it used to be, the way it used to be, shit, the way it still is, dirt-shaped deeds, sloppily executed on sheetless mattresses, bringing secrets to the surface with blood and alcohol, bringing secrets to the surface with blood and alcohol. 